Hey YouTube, what's up? Woodman500 here with uh, another video. I just got back from vacation, so um, I figured I'd do my knife review series right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start this series. I had a great time. Um, and I got a lot of work done over the vacation, so I'll just show you what we got here. We're starting knife review. This is the first one that we're gonna be doing. Um, I got this elevated so you can see it a little bit better. Um, this is a neat thing that came, um, it, this was actually from Canadian Tire, you can get this wherever. Um, I've seen other versions of it where you pull it out, there's tweezers and stuff. I'll pull it all out later, but first I want to explain the case a little bit. Um, I find what, well this part pulls out right here, as you can see. Um, fits right in here, there's a little knife on the end. A little bit of serration there. Um, there's a bottle opener right there. Another opener right there. Screwdriver. And I have no idea what that is. Um, neat little survival item. There's a magnifying glass there. It's quite dirty. Um, I like it. Uh, for starting fires, especially if you don't have under any other means to make fire. There's a compass on the front here. And I'm going to explain that to you right now. Um, I don't like these small compasses, it's just a little button compass here. Um, it'll do you good, but for me, I'd preferably go with a bigger one, like this one that's on the back of my Ruko knife, or used to be. May it rest in peace. I'll explain that later. Um, in any case, um, I, this compass for me is just too small. Um, like I said, a bigger one, maybe even just the compass set. Um, I showed you on other videos my uh, magnetic or uh, other compass that I have. I have so many compasses it's nuts. Anyways, so just a neat little survival item. Oh, and then there's a pop this card up here. Oh. Screwdriver, there's folks head, and another one on the other side. And that pop right. And there you go, like that. Just a cool little survival item, just a neat little thing that you can add to your survival kit. There's also measurements there and there. So you can measure stuff. Like if I had fish or something, or maybe even looking at a track, measuring it, so forth. Just a neat little survival item to add to your survival kit. Um, I figure I'd throw it in the knife review, and besides giving it a separate review, because it has a knife there, of course. Um, I find these ones harder to sharpen, because, um, it's just one side ground down. It's not two sides like your regular knife. Um, I find it hard to sharpen, personally. Um, it's not sharp anyways. It's not meant to be sharp, but still, it's nice to have a sharp knife on here. But like I said, just a neat little survival item. You can get other ones of these that are more expensive. This one's kind of a cheap one. The plastic's fairly tough, fairly durable. Um, I carried this around with me a lot. I, the compass was quite scratched up there, but it still worked for you. So just a neat little survival item on when you get these, if you get like the opening ones, um, just be careful where they close and where they open. Um, I find they're a little bit tricky because sometimes they'll just fall open because it's just a light little snap there. Um, you can get ones, like I said before, that float. You pull up the stuff from the sides instead of opening up and it's just one solid piece. It's uh, all separate. Um, I might even throw this in my first aid kit. Um, just because it has a sharp point, I can pull up wounds or cut off the bandages, whatever. So just a neat little survival item. First uh, first one in my knife review. Not a lot to talk about with this one. Pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Um, yeah, like I said, this one ranges from 5 to $10. You could probably even get these at the dollar store if you wanted to. Either way, I think it's a neat little thing to carry on you. Um, it's uh, called a safety hard case. I don't know why I call it that, but anyway. Um, yeah, make sure that you take this out and set it far away. If you really want to take an accurate bearing with this compass, make sure any metal that you have on you, especially. Um, just make sure that it's away from that because it will throw your uh, bearings off when you take them. So, just a neat little thing. Thought I'd show you guys first part of the knife review. Like I said, I didn't want to give this a separate video. I just throw it in. We're gonna be talking about more on knives. 
pretty excited for it. Uh, like I said, just got back from vacation, so pretty nice. Had a good time. Talked a lot about gear, a couple people, tested some knives out in the woods. Hauled wood. That's my vacation. Hauled wood out in the woods. That's an old four wheeler, stuff like that. Anyways, have a good day. Hope you like this video. Watch out for more Woodsman 500.